the El Clasico is up there as one of the biggest derbies in the whole world. Real Madrid versus Barcelona. These two clubs have history like no other clubs in the world. Today, we are going to be combining both past and present players of both of these prestigious clubs to put into a team and take into foot champs. Starting off in the goalkeeper position, I have gone for Ike Casillas. Look at that dynamic image, by the way. Absolutely 10 out of 10 picture. Spent 16 years at Real Madrid. 16! Having 725 appearances, zero goals, obviously you'd expect him to have zero goals. He is a goalkeeper. Get some help. Now, you can't have Ica Casillas without Sergio Ramos. And I didn't do the foot birthday Ramos, so we're going to have to go over his gold card. But Sergio Ramos, Ica Casillas, these two, when you think of Real Madrid, these two players come into your mind straight away. They were part of the back line for so many, so many, so many years. Won so many trophies together. Ramos spent, I'm not sure how much, probably around 20 years at Real Madrid altogether. 2005 to 2021, what's that? 16, 16 once again. 16! I'm actually going to put Ramos on the left-hand side because our left-back is going to be the man that is leaving Real Madrid right now. Unfortunately, his time has come to the end at the club. Where is he? Here he is, Mr. Marcelo. I am not in the financial position to be able to afford his foot captain card, unfortunately. So we don't have the capacity. So we are going to have to use his gold card, but it's okay, mate. When you have Marcelo, you, you you might as well just you know. Even even it's it, it was it's a been a. When you have Marcelo and Ramos next to each other, you're in safe hands. Marcelo, I'm not sure how long he spent at Real Madrid, but Marcelo is actually the Real Madrid player that has won the most trophies at the club, which is an amazing flex to have to be fair. And on, honestly, when you think about all the players that have come and gone from Real Madrid over the years, he has always been that guy that stayed there. So we've got Ramos, Casillas, Marcelo to complete. Our defense, apart from the right back, obviously, to complete our center back, I have gone for Pepe. And I have held on to this card for absolute ages because I knew I wanted to film a video like this. This guy came out as an SPC a few months ago, foot captain's Pepe with the bandana on his head. He is my center back next to Ramos. Full Real Madrid back line, apart from the right back who we're going to put in now. At right back, we have two options. We have the past slash the present in Dani Alves and obviously the present future in Sergio Dest. Dani Alves, I would have to buy, which I'm okay with. I can afford it. However, I don't want to lose coins on him because I need my coins for team of the season. Do you know what I mean? So I'm going to use Dest, but let's just pretend that I am using Dani Alves because this card is unreal. Obviously, Dani Alves was at Barcelona, left. Now he's back there again, could sign another contract extension. Sergio Dest joined Barcelona, I believe, last year, and he's been playing very, very well for them. But yeah, that completes the back line. Let's get into the midfield. So, guys, just before we get into midfield, I am going to change the formation to the 4-3-2-1, just so we get a little bit more chemistry. And now we can get into our first midfield position, which is going to be Mr. Pedri, also the present slash future of Barcelona. Unbelievable player. I managed to get him my La Liga red picks while he was in team of the season. Don't care. I don't really like him to be fair, but because he's an absolute baller in real life, we have got to use him and he gets a strong into death, so we can't complain about that. Next to him in midfield, I've gone for Zinedine Zidane, prime icon Zinedine Zidane. He spent five years at Real Madrid, 227 games of 49 goals. Obviously, the main important one being that volley in the UCL. Absolutely unbelievable midfielder in his day. One of the best to ever do it. He goes straight into my midfield. And to complete my midfield trio, I have gone for Ronaldinho. I do unfortunately only have his mid card, but it's all right. It will do the job. Five years at Barcelona, 207 games, 94 goals. Unbelievable player. You all know Ronaldinho. Even kids of the younger generation know who this man is. Incredible player. Gets a strong lead with Marcelo, which is absolutely beautiful stuff. We're going to get into the front three. Let's go. The right winger of our team is going to be Showdown Rodrigo. He did get this card for the UCL. He did get the upgrade because Real Madrid are just clear of Liverpool. Okay. He is another present slash future player of Real Madrid. Absolute baller, by the way. Saved them. He is, he, honestly, he is the reason why they won the UCL. Those late goals against Chelsea, against... Who was the other team that you got? I'm, I'm not sure who the other team was. But again, oh, Man City against Chelsea and Man City. They absolutely saved Real Madrid. And he goes straight into the team at right forward. Now, at left forward, we do have a few options. We have Ansu Fati. We have Neymar. I could also use Ronaldo. Notice how I didn't use Messi nor Ronaldo. I want it to be a non-Ronaldo or Messi type team. Ooh. You're hard. Obviously, they are the two legends when you think about the derby, the old classical derby. But I did want to make it without those two. 
So our left forward is actually going to be Mr. Thierry Henry. He spent three years, only three. I thought he was there for longer. He spent three years at Barcelona, 121 appearances, 49 goals, obviously coming of the eight years at Arsenal. I'm 99% sure he did actually play left wing for Barcelona. So that's why I'm going to put him at left forward. He is a striker on this version of this card, but hey, I make the rules around here. Oh, <laughs> blimey. And to finish up the start in 11, I have gone for the main man himself, Ferenc Puskas. Now, a lot of you may not know this, but he did actually play eight seasons at Real Madrid, scoring 242 goals in 262 games that is absolutely ridiculous numbers absolute baller as you all know on fifa absolute baller in real life in his time that's a bit weird though hungry and spain i didn't know that he played for spain as well as hungry that's a bit interesting anyway this is the completed team i'm gonna sort out the bench i'm gonna try and get 100 chemistry in this let me know any players you were changing this obviously ronaldo and messi like i mentioned before i wanted to be a non-ronaldo slash messi type team but yeah, I think I've done an amazing job using pretty much every single player in my club, apart from Ramos and Casillas, obviously. But yeah, I'm going to start the bench and I'll be right back. Honestly, lads, I'm not even going to lie to you. I have absolutely <laughs> it housed this bench full of loans. I've got Neymar, Messi, Suarez, obviously. You have the trio reunited on the bench. Ronaldo, Flashback Baran, Camavinga, Shua Meni, who is very, very close to signing for Royal Madrid. So he counts, all right? Cruyff, Ansu Fati, Cruz, Sergio Biscuits, and Gaza, Gaza, Bale. This is the finished team. Obviously, as manager, we have got to go and get Zinedine Zidane. I'm not sure if I have him already. I don't think I do. Maybe we can get Pep. Oh, there he is. Pep Guardiola. That's fine. We'll get Pep Guardiola in. Mr. Barcelona himself. I'm not too sure how much Casillas is. I believe he's around 250k, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe he's gone up a little bit. 300, 290, 280. All right, we'll, get, we'll pay 280 for Casillas. That's fine. And then we'll pick up Sergio Ramos. He shouldn't be too much. He basically follow, right? He's like, what? 16k 16k for ramos mate i'll tell you that all day long there you go lads the finished team has been completed i'm not sure when my manager went he just kind of disappeared i'm gonna go into a game and let's try this team out pedri puskas we love to see it son dino puskas dino make the run for me rodrigo rodrigo tt tt Oh, 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 we're getting we're getting a little rage oh, quit arena. We love to see it, baby. It wouldn't be a video if Pepe wouldn't get a red card, honestly, mate. Oh mate, it is quite literally June. You don't have to use one player to defend. Quite literally June. I am BR10 come over. Yeah, you're definitely 10 years old, mate. You're definitely 10 years old. Marcelo for the culture. For the culture, mate. That's legacy, that is. That is absolute legacy. My baller, Marcelo. Has he had enough already? Well, I mean, I'll take it. Marcelo, my striker, mate. Oh, my. What is... Okay, okay actually, this 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 sort of team scares me, honestly. That right side was terrifying. Pepe. Pepe doesn't take no prisoners. Red card. That's a bit harsh, ref. What? He's going, he's going middle. He's going middle. He's going middle. Nope. Yeah, we're just going to swiftly move on. We're just going to swiftly, swiftly move on. I told you, those sort of teams really do scare me. Oh, I didn't mean to, I should have just quit up because now I'm gonna have a red card on Pepe. Mate, biscuits at centre back. Who says no? Baffination. Oh mate, don't give Puskas that much room, mate. Rodrigo, Rodrigo, scorpion kick. Oh, scorpion kick it, man. You know what, lads? I'm gonna change the front three up completely. I'm gonna put Neymar left forward, Ronaldo up front, Messi at right wing. We are going to go with the old school, modern day type El Clasico setup with the front three, that is. Messi, Neymar and Ronaldo. Not Suarez, but Ronaldo. We have to get a bit of Madrid in there. Neymar, Messi, Messi. Oh, he's offside. That though, lads, is going to be the end of the video. Let me know what you would rate the team that I put together. Hopefully, you did enjoy the video as well. If you did, make sure you go drop it a like. Subscribe if you're new around here. And I'll see you, lads, next time. Peace.